All right, I'm going to talk about some basic math. How do we do math? Uh, this is a math lesson, but also an Excel lesson because you got to know some basic math to be able to enter formulas in Excel. So let's take a look. Uh, I'm in cell B3. Let's just say I type the number um, uh, 4 in cell B3, and I type the number uh, 100 in cell B4. Well, let's say I wanted to add those two together. Well, um, I've got the, the plus symbol is for addition. So I always start a formula out with the equal symbol. I'm saying B5 is equal to, I'm going to say B3 plus B4. And that should add B3 and B4 together. I press enter and it displays 104, which is 100 plus 4. Uh, I want to double click in that cell. And let's say I wanted to subtract B3 minus B4. I'd put the minus symbol in there instead of the, 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 the plus symbol. And that subtracts it. So uh, 4 minus 100 is a negative 96. And I can double click and I can see there's a formula there. And it's B3 minus B4. If I want to multiply those two together, I'll put an asterisk in there. An asterisk, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, B3 times B4. Notice when I press enter, it's 400. If I wanted to divide B3 by B4, I put a slash in there. And so that's B3 divided by B4. That's a forward slash, by the way. And so the answer to that, uh, 4 divided by 100 is 0 0.04. So you have four basic operations there. That is addition, subtraction, plus symbol, minus symbol, multiplication, asterisk, and division, uh, the slash symbol. All right, I will talk about exponentiation or exponent exponents really quickly because that's usually covered as well right here. If you do, um, let's say I wanted to take um, four or let's say 100 uh, and raise it to the fourth power, that would be equal to B4. And I use the caret symbol, and the caret symbol on your computer is in various places. In my computer, it's above the 6, so I'm going to hold down the Shift key and put that in there. So B4 raised to the 4th power, raised to whatever is in B3, which is a 4th power. I'm going to press Enter, and I can see that that's the value of B4 raised to the 2nd power, uh, the 4th power. Uh, something might be easier. Uh, let's say I, I wanted to type in equal to 2, and I want to raise that uh, to the uh, to the third power. So that's 2 times 2 times 2, and that should be equal to 8, because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So that's, that's saying multiply 2 three times. All right, so those are the basic mathematical operators. I'm going to delete this and kind of start over. And uh, what I want to do is talk about something called the order of operations, because when you do math, sometimes it doesn't turn out exactly like you think it's going to be because of this thing called the order of operations. So let's say that I type in equal to 10 divided by 2. Well, 10 divided by 2 should be equal to 5. That's pretty simple. But where it can get confusing sometimes is if I have uh, another operation here. So, for example, if I said plus 4. Now, what do you think that is? Is it 10 divided by 2, which is 5, plus 4, which is 9? Or is it 2 plus 4, which is 6, and then divide that into 10? What's the order that these operations are done? So let's take a look at that a little more closely. Um, usually, it's done from left to right. 10 divided by 2, and, then you add, and, and that gives you 5, and you add 4. And that's what this one does. Uh, you end up with 9. <laughs> but sometimes the order of operations is not simply from left to right. And basically the rule is this. Uh, it, when, you, when Excel looks at a formula, or when any math person looks at any formula, regardless of whether it's in Excel or not, um, they will always do um, the addition and subtraction first. I just screwed that up. Sorry, I just screwed that up. They'll always do the multiplication and the division first. So 10 divided by 2 is done first, then plus 4. It's not really just going from left to right like we think it is. Okay, so what I mean by that is, let's say I have this formula, equal to 4 plus 4 divided by 2. Now, if, if you understand this, uh, you will get, uh, you mean, if, if you see what the answer is and you get this answer, then you understand the order of operations. The order of operations says that division and subtraction must be done first. 
so the question is, what do you get when you um, when you look at this formula? If you think that you get 4 plus 4, which is 8 divided by 2, which is 4, you would actually be wrong. The answer is, let me press enter and you'll see, the answer is 6. So it's not 4 plus 4 and then dividing that by 2. It's 4 divided by 2 first, which is 2, and then you add that to 4. It seems a little backwards, doesn't it? But the order, you, the order that you do the operation of division becomes before you do the, the, the addition. That's why they call it order of operations. Operations means like plus and minus uh, multiplying and dividing. Those are operations. So the order that you do those operations in a formula uh, is not always left to right. So here's 4 divided by 2 plus 4. You always do multiplication division first, and then you do addition and subtraction. I said that wrong a minute ago, so make sure I get that right with you. Now, if I want to do a, a different order, then I can always put in parentheses. It never hurts to put in parentheses. And in this case, I'll put parentheses around the 4s, the 4 plus 4. So I'm saying do the 4 plus 4 first, then divide by 2. If I leave those parentheses out, though, it'll do 4 divided by 2. All division multiplication in the formula would be done first, and then uh, the addition would be done. But in this case, I'm saying add the two 4s together, then divide it by 2. And that gives me 4 like we thought it was. Order of operation.